Oh shit, the lens. Today we're using the Canon Horrible Shot S95 anti-focus camera. Oh yeah, so this is new transmission mounts. And this is new transmission. And I gotta be careful how I pick this up because the last time I picked it up, uh, just me hitting the metal is really sharp in here because it hasn't been used and the keying on the axle fucking cut me just from touching it when I opened it up yesterday. We're gonna be installing it. Looking at the old versus the new, there are some differences I don't like most. Well, if you look at the supports up here, it's got some that. This doesn't have it. The closest thing it has is these little notches going like that. I guess they figured you didn't need as much support around the axle. Uh, but here's the thing I don't like. I'm pretty sure this is like a drain fill plug. It doesn't exist on this one. I don't know what this is filled with. That one was filled with disgusting grease, but I'd like to have these filled with oil. How am I supposed to get it in the house is the question. Maybe I'm supposed to take this thing out here. Something else I forgot to mention is you see these spider gears here. I plan on cleaning them up and shoving them in with my spider gears that already exist, uh, connecting them together because I saw somebody on YouTube do that and then I'm going to weld it on top of that. So I have a double power extra don't break please when I rip on you connection. That's my combination of bad gas and bad kerosene mixture I would not put in an engine. And I am swashing it around in here, which I was originally going to use to store the oil. Uh, but uh, my gear's got to be cleaned, and this is the easiest way I can think of getting all that grease and shit off. And let's see how it looks, because you saw how bad these things were before. Uh, they're getting much better. Not quite there yet. Wish I had a toothbrush I could use. Now them some cleanish gears. There's a little bit of grease between each tooth here, but there's not really any dirt in there. So that'll work good enough. I have determined that this is what holds the ball and spring for the shifter. If I tighten it down, I lose the ability to be able to shift gears. In fact, uh... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you get it. So, uh... I probably still can't fill it this way, so that's the plan. I'm going to try saving the oil, but I'm also going to try getting transmission fluid. And uh, if I can't get transmission fluid today, I'll try getting oil back in. I'm going to dry the inside of this container out and start putting oil in it. I'm getting a little nervous here. The other one just came open. This thing's bending. I can hear the it's like a glue or something on it. I can hear it cracking and popping, but this one isn't opening like the other one. I mean, I'm seriously bending this thing trying to get it open. The other one, I just... Cracked it, one side came open, cracked it, the other side came open, it was really easy. I'm not having good luck with this. I'm having better luck with this side, and we have oil dripping out, so... Yay! Oil good, grease bad. At least I think. I just know oil is going to be a lot easier to work with than grease. Now, I could not get oil to drown out of this hole, I don't know if I can fill it through this hole. I don't know how I'm going to get oil back in here. Uh oil doesn't fill in this hole this transmission is going to sit aside for a long time and i'm not going to be able to ride that mower for a long time all right so i learned something today uh this thing is um not filled to the top of oil and i thought it was it's just got to get i guess enough oil in it to splash around boy that looks nice where's my spooter gears are they even the same Amount of teeth looks like they might have changed it. I think there's a different number of teeth in here. Yeah, the teeth here look way more rugged actually. Yeah, they're different. I don't think it's gonna fit. I might just have to weld it, but this looks way more rugged than the other transmission. I think I got a nice one. Oh wow, this is even filled with oil. I, you know, I've got gear oil. This is like say, SAE 80 something. Maybe I should just put some more in there. I did leak some oil, so. Alright, I'm gonna line this up with aluminum foil before welding it. So I don't get uh, shit all over here. And before I seal it up when I'm done, I'm gonna clean up the oil around here. And I'm gonna put RTV, uh, the red RTV all over it. 
or at least I'm going to make a line going around it so I get a good seal again. And I think it'll work for that. I shouldn't have panicked. I forgot I had the ability of getting artificial light. I found the fixture for my 300 watt bulb. Uh, but yeah, lesson learned. Don't try and weld your gears. Just weld the pole inside. It doesn't do shit welding the gears. It make a nasty mess that will take hours to clean up. Like, like that. This is what I got laying around, so this is what it gets. That's probably way too much oil, so hopefully overfilling doesn't cause a problem. Only one way to find out. I also filled these little things where the things like this are supposed to go in here. So, uh, I figured that, you know, over time that ought to help keep this bar lubricated, which I did put oil on top of it and rotate it around a few times. We're rotating nice and smoothly now. Look at that sweet, oily action. Ooh, wee. And, okay, those are bubbles. I wanted to make sure that wasn't, uh, sh like dust and debris. Okay, so I gotta get this top on here, and I need to RTV it first. Okay. Now I got some fuzzies in here. I hope paper towel, or, I hope cotton fibers aren't suicide to a transmission, because this thing has it on it, because I dried it out with towels from work. That ought to get her done. Peerless is kind of greedy. They couldn't even give me the damn spring that attaches from here to here. And they didn't give me the keys either. I have them. Susan, what the heck? Scared me. Well, I guess it's time to call it a night either way. I can install this tomorrow. I hook my uh, shifting linkage up. Man, this thing's hard to shift. Yeah, it shifts. And does it rotate? My hands are covered in oil. I would like to see if this thing rotates. I'm gonna go. There's my pulley that's going on here anyways. There we go, we have, we have turnage. We have turnage. I'm just gonna leave a little shot here and plug the cores. Ain't supposed to rain tonight. For those of you that might be running, I do plan to actually have this thing where the hood's on it. And the connections on it were pretty bad, very rusted and non-existent. I tried welding along what was still attached. And then I grinded it up and I cut some pieces of metal and I welded those on. And this thing, like, it, it was at a point where if you were to just take the hood when it was on there and lift it up, it would be able to rip itself completely off. You had to be very gentle and just a wind swing and just go... Rrr, rrr. And this thing is rock solid now. I mean, that's really on there. It looks wrong! Time to unbolt the support! Wait, that's in Titan mode. Shite. Wait, no, that was all right, yeah. I don't think I can do this with one hand. Oh fuck, I better get the breaker bar. That's really looking like one solid thing there. It's time I drop the adjustable wrench and pick up breaker bar and big ass craftsman ratchet. I'll have to get a tractor and get a replacement nut for uh, this side. Because you know the one that we're replacing bolt, because the one it's got stuck in the transmission. Uh, uh, it really pissed me off. It was a pain in my ass, but I got this up here, and I've got the shifting linkage hooked up. I don't have to make any adjustments. It shifts completely normal. I have to do this on the other side now. Uh, and I guess I'm going to tighten this uh, very loose-looking nut up here. And I'm going to take this off since I'm down here. This piece is bent at a different angle on the one inside here. So I guess swap that! Took like six tries for me to get everything all together in the right combination, but I finally did it. I had this on upside down, then I flipped it around, I had, blah, 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 blah. I had this on that side, and I had this spring, like, oh my god, and then I forgot to put this stuff on, and oh, it was a nightmare. Everything that could have went wrong did went wrong, other than me losing parts. Lighting is less than satisfactory, but you'll see how she drives.
gonna have to get some gas for her soon so I can quit running this kerosene shit. Oh! I forgot to just wash it and the seat's wet. Put the camera around my neck. And... What I like about these transmissions, you don't have to be in neutral to shift up. Good sunset today. Now I'm gonna try shifting up higher while holding the camera. Get my foot in the clutch just in case. Not too much, there's too much for it. I need to rev up and shift down. Fuck! I am not even high gear, I can't do this. I just went in the high gear and it feels the same. Brakes work pretty good. Thank you. 